So, let's see what we got going on. We're gonna go into the barn because I have something very special to show you. Never had this happen before to this magnitude. And I wanted to bring you guys along. It's very, very exciting, very exciting news. Because I went into the barn to get some sawdust earlier this morning for our composting toilet. And when I got into the barn, I kind of heard some chirps. And I had a broody hen sitting in there, and she was sitting on a ton of eggs. So I just let her go because she had a great area where no one would mess with her. The dog never, Maggie never got near her, and you never knew she was there. She was very stealth. And uh, when I go in there to get the sawdust, I hear chirp, 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 chirp. And lo and behold, there she is. There's Mama with her babies. There's quite a few. Aren't they cute? There's quite a few. I think there might be 10. So she's over here with the horses. Doing her mommy thing, protecting them. When Maggie came in here, she went at her and almost ate her face off. <laughs> so she's being a good mommy, protecting them. Let's just take a moment and look how cute they are. The cuteness factor is off the charts. She's got a whole bunch of different varieties. I think I even might even have a, co a cochin or two in there. They're all around her. Stay close, there's cats in here. All right, Mom, I'll leave you alone. Take care of those babies. So the plan is I'm gonna try to take the mama and the chicks back to the coop so they are away from those cats because I don't want them to get eaten. So let's see how it goes. I'm gonna have to get some gloves or something because she's not gonna have it. <laughs> so uh, let's get going. So here's the plan. I'm going to, I got Doug's gloves for the beehive and I'm gonna try to pick her up and I'm gonna put the chicks in a box and I'm gonna take them over to the chicken coop. So hopefully this will go good. We'll see how it goes. Hello, Mama. I would love to take your babies. I don't want them to get eaten and put you in a safer spot. Okay? I'm gonna take these over to the coop and uh, try to go get mama. And then hopefully it'll work out fine and I'm sure it will. So what I think I'm gonna do is put them, here they are, that I brought from the barn, in our A-frame house with our other chicks. I'm gonna put the mama in here for a little bit with them. I think that'll probably be the safest right now. All right, Mama, I hear you clucking. You want your babies. I'm gonna try to get her and put her in the coop. Here goes nothing. Okay, that was pretty painless. Here she is. <laughs> Say hi. I'm gonna put you in with your babies now. <laughs> right, Mama? <laughs> She's like, where are they? <laughs> so we'll put her in here for a little bit. 
see how it goes. be a mama of lots of babies. <laughs> They look like they're doing a great job. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, they're all by mama. Life is good. I'm glad I did that. Because how how knows how how many could have gotten eaten up so by the cats. So I'm very happy that I did this. She looks very happy now. So here I have a silky. And silkies, I've never had silkies. I know they're very good. They brood a lot and they're very good mamas. So you can put any kind of egg underneath them and they're very good. And I wanted to show you how I sex these guys. It's, it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna show you. So this is the way I learned. Put them in your hand, okay? And then you're gonna grab them very gently right underneath where the little bone is here and then you're gonna let them hang. Now if you notice this one, when they wiggle a lot and try to get loose and pull their legs up, they say generally that that's a hen. See how her legs are pulling up and she's wiggling? So I would say, that was a betting person, that this is a hen. Let me get another one. Okay, here's another one. I'm gonna grab it right here, let it, let it go. See how it's moving around, pulling his legs up? Then I would say that was a hen too. Let's see if we can find a rooster. Okay, what do we got? Okay, try another silky. Okay. Gently. That's a hen too. I think when I had tried to do this before and I was sexing them, I think I had like four or five of the hens and then one of the roosters. So let's see if I can find them. Okay. Let's try this one. Get it calm in your hand. Gently grab those bones right by its cheeks. It's 
See how he's hanging like that? That's rooster. See how he hangs? When his legs go straight, they say that's the rooster. So he's a rooster, I think. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work or not, but uh, what I did on some of them, I got a, a little Sharpie and I kind of marked them and I'm going to just check and see. But the females, usually their legs pull up and they kind of wiggle a lot. And then the males or the roosters let their legs hang and they're a little bit more mellow. So a lot of them will do it. It's weird. I've tried it on some other chicks too. All right, I want to show you my cool guys to add a little flavor to my coop. So here are, I got a couple more. We hatched these at my school couple more of the Cochins and then right here the three Amigos the black one with the white poof those are and all the ones in there are those crested Polish so not quite sure if they're males or females so I think the white one with the white head is going to be called either Billy Idol or Cindy Lopper and then this little one right here kind of the buff crested polish there's phyllis diller you guys are old enough to know who that is and then here is tina turner hope hope it's a hen with the black head and and the kind of bronze colored feathers that's a bronze crested polish and they're just kind of fun to add a little excitement to our flock we've never had any of these kind of fun birds before so Doug and I are looking forward to having these guys They're pretty cool aren't they what do you think you know in the comments below why don't you guys let me know which one is your favorite the Cochins with the fuzzy legs Tina Turner Villa Stiller or that guy back there Billy Idol or Cindy Lopper what do you think he's hiding or she's hiding So they have their little group, they went right to mommy, and then I have my some of my little older ones, and then some of my other babies. I forgot, I have some silkies back there too, a cucumaran, a couple turkeys, so there's a variety of little guys in there. So, my crazy crested Polish there. Hey guys, what's up? And my coachins. Alright, I think everyone's happy. I think this is a good thing to do. Very happy. She's happy mama. You did good mama. Alright, so that's a wrap. So that was exciting. And I'm going to go check out the nest. I didn't show you guys that and see how many eggs did not hatch. But she had a ton in there. So let's go look at that. So she rigged up a little area back here <laughs> which was pretty good it was back in here nice and dark perfectly one two three four yeah or five so not too bad because she was sitting on a lot of them they were all around her so they all hatched pretty much well the day's coming to a close and I'm just sitting on the front porch, listening to the wind, listening to the chimes, listening to the nature. Because we're getting this cold front that's coming in. The wind's really picking up. And it's supposed to be in the 70s and low in the 50s. So really looking forward to that because it's been hot and humid like Miami, Florida here in Missouri. And um, I'm ready for a little break. So that's pretty cool. But what do you guys think about the way I sex those chicks? I thought it was kind of a neat, easy way of doing it. That if it's a hen, their legs come up and they're kind of shaky and want to get out. And if it's a rooster, they just kind of hang there with their legs straight. So um, I thought that was pretty cool. I marked them with a little blue Sharpie and uh, to find out if it was a rooster. I had done that earlier. So um, what do you guys think? Have you ever tried that before? Yeah, well, let me know about that. And what about my Crested Polish? Aren't they the coolest things you've ever seen? Which one was your favorite? Remember, put that in the comments below too. And remember, we're having the Homesteading Life Conference in Hannibal, Missouri on August 4th and 5th. And we're also going to have a, like a poultry 101 class that'll kind of go over everything you want to know about chickens, about the color of their eggs, you know, every little thing like chicken, like chickens for beginners. So I thought that would be really cool. We're going to have a whole bunch of different um, varieties of chickens there too. 
And uh, other than that, I hope you guys are having an absolutely awesome day and I will see you guys later. Bye.